We often have great ideas for supporting our clients and patients through the behavior change, but sometimes they really don't need them. My name is Dawn Clifford. I'm one of the authors of the book, Motivational Interviewing and Nutrition and Fitness and a Motivational Interviewing Trainer. And today we're talking about taming the writing reflex. The writing reflex is really defined as any time we notice within our bodies that we desperately have the desire to give information to provide unsolicited advice. And while there's certainly a place and time to provide some information to our clients and patients within the context of a motivational interviewing session, timing is everything. So tip number one in taming the writing reflex is notice it, become aware of that desire to give information or to provide unsolicited advice and breathe your way through it. Notice when it arises and think to yourself, okay, I have some information. I do want to give this to the client. I'm not sure if now's the best time. Timing is really everything when it comes to giving information. You may be in the engaging process or maybe the focusing process when this writing reflex arises, when you start to notice, uh oh, I have that desire to give information. And it may not be the right time because you're really in that moment of getting to know the client or, or focusing down to a specific topic and really unpacking it all. And so it may just not be the right time to give the information. So become aware of the writing reflex, notice the timing element. And the third tip I have for you today is remember before giving information or per, before giving any sort of advice, ask the patient or client for their ideas. Find out what they've already thought of, uh, ask them you know, what they think might work best for their lives or what they already know about a certain topic before giving information. And finally, remember to ask their permission before providing the information or before giving advice. So I might ask, what ideas do you have for how you might go about making this change? Or I might ask, what do you already know about this topic? And then once I hear their response, I might ask, you know, is it okay if I give you some information that's worked for other people? Is it okay if I share with you the latest evidence on that topic based on what the science tells us? And so we're simply just asking permission, demonstrating partnership in doing so. So those are your tips for taming the writing reflex. First, become aware of it. Note the timing. Truly stay in the moment with the patient or client and focus on listening and not trying to fix. And then when it is time to give that information, ask them for their ideas first and ask permission before providing your ideas. Tame that writing reflex. It means everything in the realm of partnership, giving off that aura or that spirit of partnership towards your patient and client. My name's Dawn Clifford. Thanks so much for watching this MI Tip of the Day. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time.